Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, happy Mother's Day. Hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. This is my Mother's Day dinner. Howard and I are trying out a new Korean restaurant. So these are chicken egg rolls for an appetizer. And this is Howard's. He got um, pork bulgogi. And these are all the sides that come with um, the entree, some soybean paste and lettuce to roll up that bulgogi. Steamed rice right over here. And then this is mine. I got a, um, a bento box. I got chicken. And these are eggs and rice, all sorts of stuff. And then I got some miso soup. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having pinto beans and smoked ham hocks. I did record a video on how I make my pinto beans and I will um, leave that video in the description box, but I'm serving it over rice. And we're also having some cornbread in my pantry. I had this crusty sweet corn muffin and cornbread mix. So I'm trying that out for the very first time. And I just made it in jumbo muffin tins. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I'm making one of my quick and easy go-to meals from Trader Joe's. In my skillet, I have some fresh broccolini and I'm just stir frying that with some grape seed oil in this uh, Korean barbecue seasoning. And then once that is almost finished cooking, I am going to add in this Trader Joe's um, low fat chow mein. It's so good. Even though I'm adding extra vegetables to it, I've never needed to add any extra liquid. There's enough sauce in this where it coats that broccolini or broccoli, whatever you happen to have, just fine. So I just added in the contents of the package. Wanted to show you all what it looks like, just in case you were wondering. And here is the frozen packet. So all I'm gonna do is cover this and let it cook for about six to seven minutes until those noodles loosen up. And then I'm just gonna add in this packet. So here is dinner all plated up and y'all could see how easy that was to throw together and plenty of sauce on that pasta. So this is, like I said, one of my quick and easy go-tos. Love having this in the freezer. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so we started off the week in Texas and now we are in Florida. We just flew in. Howard is driving the rental car. Harrison is in the back there. Um, but we are here for Howard's niece's graduation. So I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to record any dinners while I'm here. It's gonna be family time. Um, so the dinners that I've already recorded, that may be it. It's so feet. Use the left lane the GPS. Lake so Park. I will be back. So we arrived at Howard's parents' house and his mom made dinner for us. And she made some rice and peas. She also made a roast and then some mixed vegetables, carrots, onions, um, broccoli. I'm not sure what else is in there, but we've already made our plates. I totally forgot to record. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so Howard and I are at a Brazilian buffet, not a Brazilian steakhouse where they bring you meat table side. All of the food was on the buffet. So this is my plate. I have a lot of different things that I'm eating here. We've already started eating. I forgot to record. And this is Howard's plate. And it is so good. All right, so this is what we're having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so we are still in Florida. We're at this really, really nice park. There's Harrison having fun. And I have been forgetting to record our meals. Um, so I'm just gonna end the video here. Um, it's just kind of hard to record and do family time at the same time. So anyway, this is the end of our dinner video and we will see you all next week.